you are entering the forklift, grab the handle, put your foot on the step, and the other hand on the steering wheel. This allows for three points of contact while entering the forklift. The ratchet style emergency brake is located on the dash. You will engage the brake by pulling to the back position and disengage by placing in the forward position. On the floor, there are three pedals. To the right is your accelerator. In the center is your brake. And on the left, you have your inching pedal, which disengages the clutch so you can lift and lower at speed. With your hands on the steering wheel, all the controls are within fingertip reach. On the left of the steering wheel, you have your directional lever. Top for moving forward, bottom for reverse, and neutral in the center. On the right side, you have your automotive style light switch and your left and right directional signals. In the center of the steering wheel is your horn. The overhead bars above are angled to allow you to see the load or racking at height. On the right side are the cowl mounted controls which are universal for all Toyota forklifts. On the left you have lifting. Center is the tilt. And right is the side shift. Press the automatic fork leveling button while pushing the tilt level forward. The forks will stop at 90 degrees relative to the truck. Behind the operator is the rear assist grip the grip also comes with a horn button to warn other operators in the area. The seat is a four-way full suspension seat. In the center, you have the suspension adjustment depending on the operator's weight. On the sides is the lumbar support and tilt. To change the propane tank, you will lift the latch, move the propane tank until it locks in place, turn off the propane, Remove the safety harness. Remove the hose and lift the tank. When replacing with a new tank, match up the indicator holes on the propane tank with the screw. This will make sure the fuel straw inside the tank is drawing fuel from the bottom of the tank. Reconnect the hose. Reconnect the safety latch lift the pin and swing back until it locks back in place. At the bottom of the truck there is a tow pin in case you need to tow someone's truck. To open the hood you need to swing the propane tank away from the truck to allow enough space for the hood to open. Push the seat forward. Grab the hood latch located at the bottom of the seat. Tilt the hood back until you hear it lock into place. You now have access to the engine, battery, oil, and fan. With the hood in the up position, it also allows you to remove the floor mat without tools, allowing you quick access to the transmission compartment. To release the hood, press the orange indicator button. For the controls to work, you need to be sitting in the seat of the forklift. If the forklift is in drive and you take your weight off the seat, you will hear a warning beep. The screen will indicate a message to return to operating position. You will need to shift the forklift into neutral, then back into the drive position to allow you to continue operation of the forklift. The operator manual should stay with the truck at all times. With the operator's manual, the operator can reference items such as safety controls, operator display, troubleshooting, and daily maintenance. On every Toyota forklift, you will find a data plate which will have information such as model number, a unique serial number, attachments in use, maximum lift height mast is capable of, weight of the lift truck, minimum and maximum weight of the battery, and maximum amp hour allowed. As part of your daily checks, Check the floor pedals to make sure the rubber has not worn down. Visually inspect your tires to make sure they are not showing signs of wear. Check all visible hoses to make sure there are no leaks. All lights should be in working order. All forks should be visually inspected for wear or breaks. Make sure the steps are clear of debris. 
Check oil levels. Visually inspect the forklift for any dents or spots where there may have been an impact. Horn is in proper working order. LED indicator is working properly. Data plate is legible. With the hood open, you will also have access to the air filter. You remove the cover by opening the three clips. Once the cover is off, inspect the filter to make sure it is free of debris. When putting the cover back on, make sure the filter valve is pointing in a downward direction. This will allow the filter to blow debris to the floor. With the floor mat removed, check the transmission fluid levels. 